Hey guys, welcome to part two of creating a WordPress widget. And up to this point, we have our main file. We have all our files created, and we have our main file, which is including our JavaScript. Um, we have our class file included, and then we have our registration function. All right, so what we need to do now is the class, which is going to be the most code. Okay, this file, this, this will be the biggest file. So if we go to the widgets API documentation uh, and we scroll down to the example, all right, uh, I'm just going to grab this whole thing, okay, this example class. Okay, and I'm just going to paste that in and we need our opening PHP tag. Okay, so basically we're going to declare this class um, like box widget and it has to extend the core WP widget class alright and then we have a constructor which takes in a parent construct and that takes some parameters to uh, basically just meta data alright so first we have the base ID okay so we're gonna change this to like box widget and then we have the title change that to like box all right, and if you see this double underscore and then parentheses, this has to do with translation. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but it has to do with uh, people being able to translate your widget um, into other languages. Okay, so it's basically a double underscore, takes in the text as a parameter, and then it takes in this text domain as a second parameter. All right, and then next we are putting in our description, again using that translate function all right so we just want a short um, description here we'll say a geez, I can't type today a simple um, like box widget and that's all we need for the constructor okay next we have the widget function and this is this is for displaying info uh, or displaying your content in the front end. All right, so this is what what does that. All right, and uh, it takes two parameters. One will be any widget arguments that you have, and we also have an instance uh, parameter, which is going to represent the values that are in the database for each of your fields. All right, and the only field we have here by default is going to be our title. All right. Um, we're going to add a bunch of fields that have to do with our like box. Okay, so we're going to add just about all of these. All right, so uh, we can actually echo out arguments before our widget. Okay, that's what this line here is doing, and also after the widget. And then here, what we're doing is saying that if the title is not empty, then uh, it's going to equal the instance which is going to come from the database okay so if if the title is not empty it's going to come from the database that's basically what this is saying here and then this line echo hello world this will actually print out in the front end wherever you put your widget all right so again this widget function or method is to display content in the front end all right next we have the form method or function and what this is for is displaying your back-end form, your widget form. All right, and by default, it's going to just have a title field. You can see it has the HTML right here. Okay, we have a label, and then we have an input, this class of wide fat. That just has to do with the back-end template. Um, and then we just have the, the actual title, which is, um, where is it, right here, okay. We're echoing it out um, and we're wrapping it in this escape attribute function, which is just for security. All right, and then the last function is update, and that has to do with saving your form and actually changing the values in the database. All right, so uh, all of our values will be kept in the options table in your WordPress installation or your WordPress database. All right, so let's start up here with the widget function now we need a lot more than just the title we're gonna have things like of course the, the page URL for the like box 
uh, the Facebook page, the uh, width, height, color, things like that. And I don't want to put those all in separate variables. I want to just create uh, an array and put them in there. Okay, so I'm going to create an array called data. All right, and then I'm actually going to take this, the title, and put this into, um, let's see, we're going to say data title. Get rid of this. Okay, so now it's in an array value. All right, so we're going to do this for all of our fields. So, of course, we need a page URL. All right, and we're going to set that equal to um, instance. So, instance page URL. All right. Now, rather than just setting it to this, I want to wrap it in um, a function called escape attributes. Okay, and that will just that just provides a little security uh, from things like SQL injection. All right, and we have a bunch of more fields to do here, so I'm going to copy this. Okay, so next we'll do um, height. Let's do width. Okay, we'll do color. And let's see, we got show faces. Okay, so you can choose if you want to actually show people that liked your page. And let's see, we can show the header. Oops, that needs to be an underscore and underscore. So show header and show posts. And show border. Okay, I'll delete this last one. So if you don't know where I'm getting these, I'm getting these from here. All right, so I just want to be able to to change these um, from the back end. And what this is doing is it's getting it ready. I'm putting them all inside of an, an array that we can actually display. All right, so we need to create the output. And I don't want to output it directly from the widget method. I want to create a custom one. Let me space this out a little. So. I'm, I'm going to take this echo out. All right, and what I do want to do is echo this get like box. Okay, and then I want to pass in the data array. All right, so what we have to do now is create a function called get like box. So we'll go down here, down to the bottom. And let's see. Get, we'll say get and display like box. And it's going to have one parameter, and that's going to be an array called data. All right. 
So what we're going to do here is create an output variable. Okay, so we'll say output equals. And this is where I want to include, if you go to back here and we generate the code, with this uh, div right here, this FB root, it needs this. So I'm going to copy that and put that in there like that. All right, then we want to concatenate or append to the output. So we want to do a dot equals. All right, and then we're basically going to uh, display this code here with values coming from the instance or from the database. All right, so I'm actually going, let me just paste this in because this will take a long time to type out. Okay, it's pretty easy. Um, we have a div with the class of FB like box. We're setting, setting our data variables. All right, so data href page URL. And you can see if we look at the code here, we have data href, uh, data color scheme, data show faces. All right, and that's exactly what this is printing out, except we're using these um, the array values, uh, which are dynamic, which we'll be able to change, obviously. Okay, so that's what that's doing. And then we just want to return the output. Okay, so we're returning it. That way we can echo it right here. All right, so that takes care of the widget function or method. So now we're going to move on to the backend form. Um, I'm going to stop it here and continue in the next part.